why do I do this? So that's, my mom asks that question all the time. And I mean, for me, it's to see things that no one else has ever seen before. I'm not naturally a risk-taking personality. Certainly people think I'm crazy for what I do. I've always been interested in the area that was just beyond where you could go with recreational scuba diving. You could always look over that edge and see, you know, it kind of drops off and it's this, this sort of mystery that's down there. It's not for everybody. Um, there's a lot of training involved. There's a lot of risk. And I'm constantly thinking, what can go wrong? What if we run out of oxygen? What if we have too much oxygen? What if one of the divers passes out? During the whole dive, you have to be thinking that uh, the rebreather is trying to kill you. If you don't take it that way, it, it will kill you. The time that I have the most anxiety is right before the dive, right as you're getting ready to drop. Your heart starts beating, your breathing starts ramping up. It's incredibly physically, emotionally, mentally challenging. The Twilight Zone, we typically say, exists between about 200 and 500 feet below the surface of the ocean. It's one of the least explored regions of our planet. It's been left alone and left unstudied for all of modern science. There's a layer of coral reef that grew during the last glacial period. The coral is not growing anymore because there's not enough light, but there's all that structure there. So that's where there's habitat for a lot of fish, sponges, gorgonians. Every time we go to those depths, because they're so unexplored, you find literally dozens of new species. 